Alright, I just wanted to make a quick video, basically to the black movement, to those uh, people who claim black supremacy or people who want to take our black people back to Africa, okay? Uh, I think what people don't realize, and I talked to one brother who is a black nationalist, you understand, then, uh, People think freedom is uh, basically going back to Africa for black folks, should I say. Freedom is going back, back basically to Africa, you know what I'm saying, and um, putting back on your dashikis, you know, and your kufis. And as long as you got a black nation, you think you're going to be free, okay? But um, I'm going to read a little bit today out of the brother Huey P. Newton, leader of the Black Panther Party, in his book, To Die for the People. Okay, and give you his outtake, which my outtake lines up with what he, uh, his view of it, okay? Let me, let me read this real quick. It says, there are two kinds of nationalism. Now, like I say, most of these black folks, these Egyptologists, these Egyptians, and most of these people who uplift the, uh, black people and black people only. Okay, and people who uplift like, you know, Black Wall Street, things of this nature. They looking at just color. You understand what I'm saying? And let me show you what I mean. Huey P. Newton says in this book, there are two kinds of nationalism. Revolutionary nationalism and reactionary nationalism. Okay, now, these people who want to take all blacks back to Africa, these are reactionary nationalists. What do I mean? I mean, they only... What I mean is they're reacting to the social... The, the social injustices done unto them, okay? And think their only way to freedom is to take everybody out and go to another land, okay, for all black people. But let me keep reading. It says, Revolutionary national, nationalism is a people's revolution. So revolutionary na nationalism is for the, uh, it's a people's revolution. And listen to what he says. With the people in power as its goal. Therefore, to be a revolutionary nationalist, you of necessity have to be a socialist. Okay? Now, most of these um, people who want to go back to Africa are not socialists nor communists, nor understand any any economic or social um, mind, mind frame of a socialist or, or um, communist. You understand? All they're thinking about is going to a land where their people could uh, so-called be free. Okay? Let, but a reactionary, listen to this, if you are a reactionary nationalist, you are not a socialist, okay? And I argue with one brother who claims to, uh, he, he uplifts the uh, Black Wall Street. He's talking about, man, we, uh, we need to get our own land, go back to Africa. But I ask, go, I tell this brother, going back to Africa is not going to free your people. It, it's going to take something stronger than that, okay? Just going back to Africa and all black people back to Africa is not going to free black people. Example, if you ever heard of Papa Doc in Haiti, and, uh, and uh, Fred Hampton mentioned him back in the 60s, Papa Doc in Haiti, Fred Hampton said, hated hey, everything white. He said, you couldn't put a white piece of paper in front of him, okay? And what happened was Papa Doc in Haiti, he got elected president in Haiti in, uh, I believe, 57, okay, 1957. And what happened was he threw out all the mulattoes, everything white. He killed or threw out the country. But guess what? And, and, and he ran on that the, the white people were oppressing and making it hard for the black people. So guess what? He got an all-black country now after he got elected. Threw everything white out. But now guess who the oppressor was? Papa Doc. Okay? Still oppressing the black people. So he got his own country full of black people. But guess what? That still didn't liberate the people. Okay, and they were still oppressed. Okay, that's an example of this black liberation that these black nationalists are talking about. 
these Egypt talking about we all need to go back to Africa to do what? To be oppressed again? See, that that's where your 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 theory and your outlook on revolution is wrong. And basically you're not a revolutionary, you're a reactionary. Meaning you're reacting to your current conditions here and just doing something thinking it's going to be better without a, a concrete analysis of the situation okay let me let me read a little bit more cultural nationalism which Huey P. Newton calls pork chop nationalism as I sometimes call it is basically a problem of having the wrong political perspective and that's what a lot of these so called uh, black black only these black liberationists these black people who want to take the whole oppressed black people and move them to Africa and they ain't really have a, a political plan for them okay he says you have the wrong political perspective because I'll tell you this not everybody black is my brother okay everybody who does right is my brother I don't care if you're white pink yellow brown blue okay I stand for people who do right, not a, a color. Because a color can oppress me any day. But somebody who does right for the people will not oppress me. Okay? Perfect example. People, Like I said, these people, uh, these so-called black nationalists I talk to, you know, claim to take everybody back to Africa with no political view. Like I mentioned, Papa Doc in Haiti. This brother oppressed was a black man oppressing black people. So instead of the white people, he kicked out the white people, but he's still oppressing. Okay. Let me give you another example. Ben Bella in I in Algeria, okay, was the first Algerian president. He was he was he was a socialist, okay? Matter of fact, uh Papa Doc was anti socialist, anti communist, okay? Him and Fidel Castro, when Fidel Castro overthrew uh, Batista, matter of fact, Papa Doc was Batista, who Batista was an ally with the American power before Castro overthrew P Batista in Cuba. Batista and uh, Papa Doc were cool. But once Castro took over, they severed them ties, okay, between Cuba and Haiti. And uh, Papa Doc felt that, uh, you know, Castro would take in those who he exiled out of uh, Haiti. Okay? But Papa Doc has always been anti-communist. Okay? And that showed by his political views. He was a, a, an oppressive dictator to his own people. Okay? But Ben Bell in Algeria, who was a socialist, who at the time when the French uh, had Algeria colonized, it was a lot of... Um, racism and oppression against Muslim people okay and Ben Bella was a Muslim but he was a socialist at heart so he wasn't just fighting for his people once he gained control of Algeria and became the first president guess what he did he delegated land to everybody okay and the people were in power not just one man why because he was a socialist at heart and he had a, a revolutionary mindset and he was a revolutionary nationalist and not a reactionary like most of these these black liberation people are they just feel like they, just because they've been oppressed they can go to another land without any any substance okay and it's going to take more than just just culture alone and gaining your culture back to to liberate us okay we're going to need some stronger stuff okay like Huey P. Newton said okay but uh, let me read a little bit more here. It says, it seems to be, a matter of fact, it says, the pork chop nationalism, which he calls cultural nationalism, which means people just caring about their culture. Once you get back to your culture and your land, you think you're going to be free. He says, it seems to be a reaction to instead of an action against political oppression. So people want to want to flee and take everybody back to Africa or have a whole black country. It's just a reaction to your political oppression instead of an action against it okay the cultural nationalists are concerned with returning to the old African culture and thereby regaining their identity and freedom 
In other words, they feel that assuming the African culture is enough to bring political freedom. And that's what a lot of you Negroes, okay, that's the mindset y'all have. Especially y'all Egyptologists, okay, and y'all Egyptians. Think, oh, just because you know your land was Egypt, if you go back, you don't even know your, the people who you claim were an oppressive people, okay? And they oppressed you. Just like I told you about Papa Doc, your pharaohs oppressed you just as bad, but you hold on to this, to this culture like it's golden. And you... And he was a peasant in that land. He was no king and queen. All right. So he says. So basically, yeah, that, that that's all on that, okay. And I just wanted to bring that out because I, you know, like I said, I talked to my brother on uh, on Facebook. This brother, a black nationalist, and he believed in the scriptures like I believe in the scriptures. And the scriptures is justice. The scriptures are a socialist slash communist principles that you need to run any country, okay, to truly free a people. Because I don't care if all white, all black go to one land. You got white people running this country and white people oppressed, okay? So it's not about just one color of people staying in the country. It's something deeper than that that got to be taken hold of, and y'all Negroes need to realize with that, I'm out.